Hello and welcome to a new lesson, a scope of linguistics. Lecture 2. Let's discuss the topic. The scope of linguistics is vast as it involves complex and systematic study. It has several core areas where linguistics has greater influence, such as phonetics. It is the branch of linguistics that studies the sounds of human speech. Then we have morphology. It is the branch of linguistics that studies the structure and formation of words. We have furthermore syntax. It is the branch of linguistics that studies the structure of sentences and the rules that govern words and phrases to form meaning. We have one more to add semantics. It is the branch of linguistics that studies meaning in language. And the last one is pragmatics. It is the branch of linguistics that studies how context influences the interpretation of meaning in communication. So, the scope of linguistics has greater say, greater influence upon these core branches of linguistic studies. We have some more ideas in this respect. Do you really want to know what are properties of language? Here is a great chance for you to learn. The lesson is designed in such a way that learners feel highly motivated to know each of the properties of language. The first one is displacement. The second one is arbitrariness. The third one is productivity. The fourth one is cultural transmission. The fifth one is discreteness. And the sixth one is duality. The link for this lecture is given in the description. Linguistics complements Linguistics combines a wide range of other disciplines, a great number of other subject matters, including anthropology, philosophy, psychology, sociology, computer science, and literature. Interdisciplinary in nature, linguistics has various fields of other specializations, such as sociolinguistics. And what is this about? Sociolinguistics is the study of how language interacts with the society, how language functions in the society, how language works in the society, exploring how social factors such as class, gender, ethnicity and geography influence linguistic behavior, linguistic thought, linguistic outlook and so on. We have the next point, psycholinguistics. Psycholinguistics is the study of how humans acquire, that is to say gain, process and use language. It explores the cognitive mechanisms behind language comprehension, that is to say, language understanding, production, that is to say, in the way you write and speak and learning. We move on to the next, historical linguistics. Historical linguistics is the study of how languages change over time. It examines the evolution of language, tracing shifts in phonetics, morphology, syntax and semantics across different historical periods. We have further computational linguistics. It is the study of language using computational methods and technology. It combines linguistics, computer science, artificial intelligence and cognitive science to analyze and process language. Then we have neurolinguistics. It is the study of how the brain processes language. And the last one is stylistics. It is the branch of linguistics that studies the use of language in literature, communication and discourse. It examines how linguistic choices such as word choice, sentence structure, rhythm and rhetorical devices affect meaning, tone and impact. So the scope of linguistics has greater influence over other branches of knowledge. Therefore, we can conclude, thus the scope of linguistics is a vast and huge one. A full knowledge of the various components of a language and their relations with the other languages constitute the right scope of linguistics. Hope you understand this concept. Thank you and goodbye.